hello friends in this video we will analyze the worst case of the insertion sort so this is the equation which we already know time required by the algorithm and uh, as a function of n and now here we want to identify what is the maximum possible value for tj okay so let's consider this case where my input is like this six five four three two one right and let's analyze this what will happen if my input is like this for the insertion sort so as you can see for each value of j for example here uh, this value of j is 2 for this particular point and then i need to compare this uh, 5 with 6 and then again i need to check whether my i is greater than 0 or not uh, as a condition of uh, while loop so basically i am doing two comparisons for j is equal to 2 similarly after the first uh, after the first iteration my uh, new modified values will look like this and now i will be comparing this 4 with 6 and then comparing 4 with 5 and then again this particular condition check whether i is greater than 0 or not so basically i am doing three checks for j is equal to th 3 right three comparisons for j is equal to 3 so in general i can say that for t j i am i will be doing j comparisons exactly n minus 1 comparisons uh, sorry exactly j minus 1 comparisons are corresponding to my uh, existing elements of the list and then one comparison to make sure that whether uh, you have reached to the end of the list or not so basically we can say that basically we can say that we will be doing one plus j minus one which is nothing but j comparisons so let me substitute this particular value of tj in this particular equation okay so before that let's find out what will happen to this term summation tj j is going from 2 to n and now i am substituting j is equal to uh, tj is equal to j so this is nothing but j is equal to 2 to n right and this is nothing but we can say that it's sigma n minus 1 so which is nothing but n into n plus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 so this is for tj and similarly let's find out what is summation of tj minus 1 from j is equal to 2 to n right so which is equivalent to j minus 1 right j is equal to 2 to n right if you notice this carefully then this is basically sigma n minus 1 right summation of first n minus 1 terms because if you substitute n is equal to 1 then this will become 0 right so if you simplify this then you will get n minus 1 into n divided by 2 right so this is the value of uh, tj minus 1 and if we substitute these two values in this particular equation then we'll get the modified equation like this so first term will remain as it is second term will remain as it is right uh, third term is also as it is but uh, the next term right is instead of tj right going from 2 to n we can write it's n into n plus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 and the next term c6 into n minus 1 into n divided by 2 and uh, next term c is c7 into n into n minus 1 divided by 2 and the last term will remain as it is okay now if you notice then uh, coefficient c5 right c6 and c7 here you will find a term which is of order n square so basically if you simplify this then you will get this type of equation a n square plus b n plus c and hence we can say that it's nothing but it's a big o of n square right so this is all about the worst case analysis now what will happen in the average case in the average case the algorithm can do roughly let's say for any given random input it, it can take roughly j by 2 number of comparisons for any given value of j and if you substitute this then also you will get order of n square result for the time function right so we can say that it's theta of n square in the average case thank you subscribe